What's up guys? In this episode, we're going to talk about bedroom levels when you're playing. Stay tuned. What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Luis Torres. And yes, bedroom levels. What does that even mean? Um, you know, it's being able to figure out if your 100 watt amp can be played in your bedroom with your baby in the room next door and your wife in the room over and no one is going to necessarily hear you. Uh, <laughs> so earlier today, someone just sent me a message in my uh, face, uh, in my, uh, YouTube, uh, post. And he asked about the EVH 5150 EL 34 that I have that guy up there. And he was just like, Hey, can you let me know if that amp can, uh, achieve bedroom levels? So, you know, I was just like, ah, should I just say what I think? Or should I go downstairs and actually play it? So that's what I did. I went downstairs, turned it on, uh, used it for about 15 minutes. And <laughs> and here's kind of like the weird thing in general, right? Um, I feel like some amps, even if they're 50 watts, are just naturally louder. Uh, and I don't know if that has anything to do with the output transformer. Maybe it is. I don't know. Some of you guys, if you're into electrical engineering, probably know the correct answer. But all I know is the EVH 5150 EL34 50-watt sounds great for specifically bedroom levels, uh, no more than one and a half. <laughs> one and a half, and that's it. Yo, if you put it at two, it is way too loud. Ridiculously loud. It literally goes from first gear and it wants to be in fifth gear racing down the track at 190 miles an hour uh from you know uh, moving it uh, an eighth of an inch like it's ridiculous but that being said the reason why i mention uh the output transformer is because i also have my marshall jcm 800 which is also a 50 watt it is the 2204 50 watt version um and you can't even put that at one without it already being way too loud. So, you know, bedroom levels, you know, what does that even mean? It's, it's, you know, do you not want to bother your neighbors who are detached from your house and they are 25 feet at the closest, or do you live in a townhouse or condo or an apartment and your next door neighbor is literally you know, six inches away and you don't want to wake them up or have them banging on your door saying, Hey, do me a favor, big guy, lower your stupid guitar playing. Um, so here is what I think is literally the best, uh, tool in trying to achieve those bedroom levels. And, uh, and it's funny cause I actually had to buy this thing twice because the first time I used it, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. For some of you guys that watched the first two notes to uh, captor video that I made, um, you know, I was still fairly new. Everyone at the time was just like, bro, why are you even trying to mic your cabs? Just get yourself a two note captor and run a uh, some kind of an IR cab simulator and run direct. So that way you don't have to worry about, you know, bringing your mic, which mic do you want to have, you know, picking a mic where, you know, where do you want to position the mic? Do you want to move it close to the cone for the back from the cone? Like there's so many different options in that sense. Um, or get yourself something like this. You can run direct, but the main reason why I tend to use this is for the attenuator option. Uh, so this is a load box attenuator, uh, speaker cab sim, which I don't think sounds good. And of course a DI. So 
as far as the attenuator, you take this, run your amp, whichever amp you have. I mean, I have a triple rectifier, which is 150 watts. I run it through this, and believe it or not, at 150 watts, I still get, eh, I don't want to say it's bedroom levels where your baby isn't going to wake up crying, um, but at 150 watts through this, which is my 8 ohm, um, you know, I can still kind of crank it a little bit and, you know, I still feel like I'm still under 60 decibels as far as uh, my playing goes. And if you want to kind of take a step, you know, take it a step further. You can get yourself one of these, which is a Sendway digital uh, decibel reader and the mic is on the bottom. You literally turn it on. You place it, you know, wherever you feel you're going to stand or, you know, if if your neighbors are on this side of the of the room, just put it on there. That way you get to see, you know, exactly how loud uh, your tone actually is. And, you know, if you crank it and the D, you know, your DC, your DB um, reader is showing 95, bro, that's loud. You got to just tune it back, you know, turn the volume back a little bit. Um, but overall, you know. It's uh, dude, we don't live in Madison Square Garden, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, although it is great at times because I can uh typically crank my amps uh and not have to worry because I don't have any close neighbors. I literally have an acre and a half on this side and my next door neighbor is about 40 feet away. So, you know, he doesn't they don't hear anything either. So, um but yeah, dude, you know, if you have a 50 watt amp, those are great. If you're going to use an attenuator or even if you're not going to use an attenuator and just kind of keep it low and, you know, find that sweet spot, you know, like, like I said, with the EVH, you know, the sweet spot is no more than one and a half. But if you decide, let me go a little bit louder, dude, it's way too, it's, it's already gone. You've already, you're already fixing to have your neighbor, you know, knock on the door or kick your door and just kind of, you know, be a little hostile to some degree. Uh, and then, of course, there's little things. You know, if you're looking to just jam and just practice, like, dude, this Joyo Zombie is an absolute monster. So this is a Mesa Boogie Rectifier clone. Uh, you can use this, plug it into uh, either a 112 cab or even your 412, but at least it's not going to be terribly loud. Um, and this guy is what? How many watts is this? I told, oh, 20 watt amplifier. Uh, so it's good. It's loud too. Like, you know, if you're pushing this through a 412 cabinet, it is ridiculously loud. Um, so, but again, you know, if you're thinking, if you're thinking, Hey, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to get a Mesa rectifier and I'm going to use that as my main practice amp at home. I have twin girls that my wife just gave birth to. Uh, they are, you know, three months and she hasn't slept a wink because she keeps waking up every two hours to feed, you know, the, the twins, then you're going to have a world of hurt, uh, with someone just telling you, dude, are you crazy? You need to lower that thing before I conk you on the head with a, with a pot and a pan. So, uh, but again, 50 watt amp, uh, you're always going to be fine with a hundred watt amp. Again, I think it has to do with the output transformer. So with a 100 watt amp, you may be cutting it too close where you may not, you, you may get to a hundred, uh, I'm sorry, to one, but that may still just be a little way over the top already, 150 watts. You know, again, at that point, you're going to have to use some kind of attenuator. And then of course, which attenuator do you buy? This one I ended up getting from Sweetwater. This was 225. Um, they were running a sale. I think they're usually 249. So this was 225. And, you know, dude, there are some attenuators that go up to, you know, over a thousand dollars. Um, but the cheaper ones for the most part have fixed ooms. And then the more expensive ones, uh, you know, if you're very, if your cabs are, um, you know, push a, a certain type of oom or certain amount of oom, then you may want to get those that have, right? I think Rivera has one that you can switch between four, eight, and 16, and you don't have to worry about anything. You literally just, you know, uh, adjust it in the back of your amp and make sure it matches your cabinet and you're completely set. So, uh, <laughs> or like I said, just get yourself something small. Like, dude, look, I actually have 
an angle, right? It's right there. I have to point it that way. It looks like I'm pointing at my ceiling, but it's really okay. So I have it, the angle gig master 15. Yes. And it's actually not bad. It's pretty good. Um, but if you already have an amp and you don't want to spend more money on a lower wattage amp, like a Paul Reed Smith, uh, MT 15, which is ridiculously loud, but at least it has a half inch or half power, uh, toggle in the back that you can literally cut it back down, uh, which is still terribly loud. But again, you get the idea you get, you know, you get the opportunity to be able to play significantly lower without having to spend 200 plus on an attenuator. But now you, you're, you know, if you're buying new, now you're spending about 700 for that amp 500 used. Um, but you know, find, find your market, find the amp or the tool, you know, somewhere in there. And, uh, and then have fun. You know, you can, you can never go wrong if you are using, um, any amp, get yourself an attenuator and run that into a two notes, uh, cab M, which is an IR loader. So you can load different cab, uh, uh IRs in there. And then literally dude, just headphone it. That's it. And you're done. And then you're not driving anyone crazy, except it sounds weird because then uh then everyone just hears this right and i don't know is that more annoying <laughs> so <laughs> which can be right you know if you don't if you hear the strings rattle and you don't hear anything, then whoever's next to you may be like, bro, just please do me a favor. Just stop playing. You're driving me completely insane. So guys, again, work your magic with picking your bedroom levels. Again, one of the best tools uh, out there is without question, getting yourself a digital uh, decibel reader and, you know, gauge what's too loud, what's kind of okay. And I think I paid like 50 bucks for that thing on Amazon. I'll try to look for it and then I'll put a link below that way you guys can get it. Um, I feel like at one point when I first started looking for those, they were like 350. Like the one that Ola has is like 600. And I'm like, come on, son, that's a guitar right there. Uh, and then found that one again for like 50, 60 bucks. So I'll put a, I'll go online and try to find it and hope for the best. If I find it again, I'll put the, I'll put the link below. Uh, but those are kind of your varying options. And I feel like, you know, at some point we always run into the, ah, this is way too loud. I need to try to, you know, get to some bedroom level playing. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and forget about all this online YouTube drama. Some of these YouTubers are crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> some dudes, some YouTubers are burnt that I made an iconic video bashing it. Yo, it's not my fault. Yo, it's EVH's fault. Like, yo, don't put something out that looks, that sounds like garbage. You know, <laughs> look, look, I bought the, yeah, you know, for all those, for all you guys that kind of caught wind that I uh, got myself an art uh, power plant, which is actually not a power amp. Uh, it is a preamp. Yo, the iconic sounds like that. I bought that thing for 125 bucks and it's eighties, eighties. You want to know how how eighties this is? Hold on. I'll show you right now before I end. Did I unplug it? Bro, look at the artwork. It's all, it's all eighties. <laughs> Yo, this is what the iconic sounds like right here. 125 bones. Come on, kitties. Save yourself some loot. All right, guys. Thank you again for watching. Love you guys. And as usual, I will talk to you soon. <laughs> ay, 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 these YouTubers. Ay, ay.